Hey everybody, Dave Basilto, FilmmakingCentral.com. Regarding Adobe Premiere Pro CS5, there is a user question in the Facebook page, our Facebook fan page. You can see uh, Christo Kreese, which is a pretty cool name, Christo Kreese. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you said, good day, how can I make a custom sequence? So let's take a look. We're in Premiere Pro. All you need to do is either go File, New, Sequence, Okay, or you can also go down below here, new item sequence. And once you're in the sequence tab, you just have to choose what you want to start with. So let's say we're going to start with just uh, uh, DVNTSC, widescreen, blah, blah, blah. Then you go into general. And from here, you can change to whatever you want. You can change uh, as far as uh, if you want to go into make a DSLR, you can do 10 frames a second, 24, whatever you want. Change the frame size, uh, horizontal and vertical, aspect ratio, it's all here. Uh, fields, if you're doing um, upper and lower fields or no fields, if you're doing progressive. Uh, drop frame time code. Uh, down here is for your audio samples that you can change. Uh, preview formats will be staying the same. Um, and then all you need to do is just choose uh, save preset and then type this my new sequence. Uh, I can't even spell. Sequence preset, which is pretty long, which I would never name something that long. And then type in, uh, this is for client ABC. And that's it. And you will have it now in your sequences. And under the custom tab, you'll see my new sequence preset. And this is for client ABC. Hope this helps you out a lot. Everyone else, download a copy of Premiere Pro CS5 and try out some tricks for yourself. Talk to you soon.